The Gauteng Provincial Government delivered a budget of 493 billion rand. But how does it address the big issues of the day? The economy, crime and of course energy. I caught up with the MEC for Finance, Jacob Mamabulo, and this is for the record. We are a key player globally as, as, as Gauteng province. The economy of South Africa stands on the big shoulders of Gauteng. So we are putting into the Gauteng uh, economic space uh, about 490 billion rands over the medium term expenditure framework period, over the MTF period. And we, we were very clear that, um, you know, a big part of this money uh, should be directed to supporting the township economy. Because uh, the reality of the matter is that our townships have a huge economic potential, but they are functioning currently far, far below the full potential that they have. Uh, and of course, that means the money for goods and services, uh, infrastructure development or delivery, but also most importantly, uh, compensation of employees. One of the most uh, important um, key highlight in the budget is we are increasing the budget of the Department of Community Safety. Now we're taking it from about a billion uh, to four billion over the medium term expenditure uh, framework uh, period. And we're saying that, um, you know, this is going to make a huge impact on our capacity for uh, crime prevention. And we are also, um, you know, leveraging smart technologies. So we are also, whilst increasing the budget, building partnerships with the private sector. Um, you know, the private sector also has a very good infrastructure of CCTV cameras and uh, installed in different parts of the, of the province. So we want to also be part of that. The second part of this budget, which is uh, very interesting and important, is um, you know, the partnerships we have built with NGOs in the health sector. And we are dealing with, uh, we, are, we have increased the budget of health to have capacity to deal with um, the challenge of cancer. Um, so we, we have invested a lot of money there. And, and, and again, this, 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 this indicates you know, the success of working with different key players and, and, and stakeholders. Um, so we also are dealing with the backlogs in the health sector that came because during the hard lockdowns and the difficulty of COVID-19 resources were redirected to that. And that has caused uh, you know, an imbalance in the operations of the Department of Health in the sense that then they accumulated some um, you know, uh, backlogs in providing certain services. But MEC, haven't you cut the health budget by 300 million? You're almost um, robbing Peter to pay Paul to, to balance the books. Yes, fight crime, increase the budget, but 300 million away from health tells another story. No, no, let's clarify that. I think that money you are referring to mm. is in the health infrastructure. Okay. I think that's, where, that's, what, that's what you're talking to. We are seeing poor spending practices and patterns around the infrastructure budget. So, so the, the money you're referring to is not a cut. It is actually saying to departments, we're not giving you this money. Show us that you can spend it. Then we will okay. bring it back. All right. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about um, the energy crisis, because that's the one thing that everybody's affected by and solutions are required. What's the Gauteng province's response in your budget? One of the things that uh, is quite, and, and that's the point I was coming back yeah. to. So one of the key highlights in this budget speech is whilst uh, you know energy supply is not within the mandate and purview of the provincial government for the very first time, given the negative impact of load shedding on the people, we are putting 1.2 billion rands um, to intervene in the difficulties we have on energy supply. 
And to that extent, um, there are initiatives that we are looking at. Um, we are looking at bringing about 800 megawatts into the grid through a partnership with the private sector uh, in two forms. The mining community in and around Mirafong uh, have donated land. In that land, we're taking a portion 1,500 hectares and we're giving it to private sector six independent power producers who are going to generate electricity for us through solar farms. And once they set up, of course, now we're concluding the technique, the paperwork for them to start. And we're doing that, we're concluding that before the end of March. Once they set up and go live with their projects, we will also at the same time be negotiating off-take agreements with municipalities to say, here's 800 megawatts. If you get it into the system, uh, into the grid, it will actually alleviate uh, the difficulties of load sharing. We are the first province in the country to have put that type of an initiative. It's quite advanced, and uh, we definitely mm -hmm. sure that we will see uh, the benefits of this. We hear other people are talking about, um, you know, some parts of the country where they are doing this, but we have not yet seen the tangible uh, evidence of that. Uh, secondly, we will be the first province to put um, uh, solar panels on the rooftops mm -hmm. of government buildings. We have done the procurement, it's concluded. We, we, we will be having a meeting with um, uh, the management of SASOL. Uh, we want to discuss with them uh, that if, if all mm -hmm. municipalities in Houghton were to agree to the usage of gas uh, generators uh, to stabilize certain parts of the of the province, what could be done to pull a big pipe um, of gas that can then be used by municipalities? And that meeting will take place before end of um, end of uh, March to then say, is this doable? And to also say to municipalities, who's in, who's out? We are bringing. We have got 1.2 billion. Let's look at what your needs are. So, so the province is building a formidable capacity, partnership, relationships to make sure that we intervene and make our contribution okay. in the grid. So that's part of what came out of the budget. All as well. right. Perhaps as a final question, they always say that uh, uh, the proof is in the eating of the pudding. So noble plans in your budget. We spoke to you about five, six months ago with your interim budget. And yeah. a lot of the things that you're saying now came out of that interim budget. Yeah technology applied to crime, uh, money being sh uh, pushed to the township economy. Are there any green shoots since then that can say to us what you're telling us now is a doable plan and that it's working? You know, our budget is 83% uh, skewed in, in, in favor of social services. Economic cluster is receiving a smaller percentage. So one of the things we're going to have to look at is striking a, a good balance because more often the challenges in the in the social sector are mainly the difficulties that come from the economic cluster. When it mm -hmm. fails, people go to the social security net. Mm -hmm. So you are going to see us launch uh, before end of April. We will be launching a special initiative that we call. Uh, project 35% plus. This initiative is an, an intervention that seeks to bring people of the province into a conversation, including and most importantly the private sector, people in the townships, on how to grow Houting's 35 contribution to GDP. Because we have lost actually our leading role in the continent as an economy. So we need to make sure that we grow that 35%. Because if this province does not grow that 35% uh, GDP to contribution, it's going to be difficult to grow the, the economy of this country. So we want to then say, what are the sectors in the economy that have a great potential? We know financial services, uh, ICT, um, tourism, um, the entire services sector mm -hmm. is actually growing, leading, manufacturing. So we want to look at those and say what can be done. 
we want to look at uh, cutting municipal red tape, which is a big uh, impediment to investor appetite to move into our space. Because if you want to do fixed capital yeah. investment, you need to meet certain uh, things in the municipalities that are very complex. And with the level of uh, difficulties we're seeing in municipalities, that is also going to just, you know, uh, dampen the already difficult environment. So in the same way that we have put money for uh, energy, we are also looking at, uh, and this might come in the adjustment budget, where we might say to municipalities, here is money or an incentive scheme, show us how you can reduce red tape. For example, how will you cut the number of days it takes for an investor to comply with municipal by, by, I mean, um, uh, uh, rules mm -hmm. or, or um, you know, some of the compliance mm -hmm. issues? Um, so in that regard, municipalities then must demonstrate to us that they will cut the compliance issues, particularly the number of days it takes, to make it easy for people to make investments. So that is one project where we are going to try and you know, make the investment environment in this province very favorable. That is a particular clear decisive intervention into the economy over and above saying to banks, to health, to pharmaceuticals, to others, what can you do in the housing space to grow the 35% contribution to GDP? So this is one exciting thing that's, come, yeah. that's coming. We're going to be looking at um, the automotive sector. You know, the automotive sector is almost becoming the jewel of the province. And we're seeing positive sentiment there. So we need to go to the automotive sector and say, you know, we like what we're doing. We like uh, what you're doing. We like what we're seeing in your space. What more can we using our fiscal instruments do to support you? How can we make your stay in our province easy? So those type of issues are where we are going to because over and above resolving the electricity challenge, we believe that uh, we need to work with the private sector to say how can we use our, our, our fiscal tools, 400 and, um, you know, about four, 400 uh, billion rents over the three, three year period, where, how are we going to get the, the multiplier, this positive mm -hmm. spin-offs out of that? Uh, so that is where we're going. And that's where I would like to talk to people like yourselves to bring the conversations about, okay, this 35% plus growing the GDP contribution of Houghton, um, where is it going, what's happening, who is in it, who's taking interest in all that. As a Gauteng resident, I wish you the best of luck and let's hope that your plans play out because yeah. so much rests on it. MEC yeah. for Finance in Gauteng, uh, Mr. Jacob Mababulo, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks. Very much.